All right, so today we got some good news. Uh, the guy up at the grill place at his custom building, our grill called and said it was done. We could pick it up. We went up there today and picked it up and uh, well, I'm very happy. I'm very happy how it turned out. Everything looks good, everything works good. Um, but anyways, let me show you the grill. Let me show you how it breaks down. Let me show you everything about this custom grill. Um, it was built to where you can use lava rocks or you could use charcoal. So either or, LPG, uh, gas tank that hooks up to it. Uh, so anyways, let me show you the grill here. Let me break it down and show you everything about it. There it is, guys. There is the grill. There's the outside of it. Uh, first thing I want to show you is the lid here, the top. The top he put on, custom made it and everything. Uh, the handle here came off of my old grill. Same with the temperature gauge, came off of my old grill. They installed that. Um, lid swings open. Rests back like uh, I'll show you here. He put these, put these little blocks here with rubber grommets on it uh, so the lid can sit there. Uh, of course he put the hinges on it and everything uh, but that is the lid and then of course you have your cooking you know you have your, your cast iron cooking grates on there we seasoned them already um, if you don't know what that is you wash off the grates get rid of all the rust and everything like that the best you can uh, look scrubbed everything down really good um, put them back in the grill run it on high with the lid open for I don't know about an hour I think I ran it and then let it cool down put a coat of oil on it stuck it back in ran it for about a half hour 45 minutes something like that and it baked the oil into it uh, what I'm gonna do is before I cook tonight on it yes I will be cooking tonight on it um, I'll put another coat of oil on it but I mean you can see the outside it's very well built put together very well um, he even down here put rubber grommets on the bottom uh, so we can move it around um, it is pretty heavy um, straight garbage <laughs> it is pretty heavy um, and then of course you have your gas line coming out for your tank um, down below here is your your um, knob you turn it clicks it's got a automatic lighter in there it lights it you control your gas uh, you have your ash pan here if you're gonna say cook with um, what do you call it the uh, charcoal um, to empty it but yeah hang on I'm gonna get lit to hold the camera here and I'm gonna show you how this actually breaks down All right, so the top comes off, your, your grates come off. I'll remove it, I'll show you how. Your grates pop off. Move your grates. Then here's your inside, here's your grate here where you can put your charcoal or your lava rocks, whatever. Um, and uh, hang on a second here, I'll show you more of it. Now I lift, you can put the lid down, and this whole top will lift off. The whole top lifts off. Set it down. This is how you can clean the inside. Here, let me show you. Here's your inside. Here's your burner. Here's your tubes for your gas that go out. Uh, right there. I don't know if it picks it up, but your spark to light your gas. Um, so you can clean it all out that way. And then your pan pulls out so you can clean it out. Um, but yeah, that's how it is inside. That's how it's built. Um, like I said, it's built, it's built really, really strong, really good, really sturdy. Um, when it was running, the sides here were a little on the warm side, but you, you could still touch it. It wasn't that hot. Um, now the lid, on the other hand, that thing got very hot. Um, 
but with the handle on it, with the handle on it here, and let me put it back together for you quick. the handle here even though this was hot and it was hot to touch now granted I had to think cranking up real hot um, with the handle here I could lift it up with the handle the handle was not hot everything was cool to the touch when it came to the handle of course you got to be careful if you're running it with the lid down you don't bump your knuckles up on it um, but but it did I mean it was nice um, and like I said, there's the grate. This grate also pulls out. You can see it lifts up. It, it pulls out, so you can pull that grate out too. Um, over here I got, got the lava rocks right here I'm going to stick in. Um, 610 pesos up at, what was it, True Value? True Value at Marquee Mall or online through Lazada. Um, 610 pesos. Um, here's the thing guys, I, I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but here in the Philippines you have your LPG tanks, alright? When you, they have places here that sell LPG gas. Now, I have never found a place here where you can buy a brand new bottle. Not to say there isn't any, I haven't found one. So when you go there, you purchase the gas bottle, the LPG tank, along with the gas so you're buying the, the uh, tank along with the gas that's a one-time deal only sorry my fingers in there moving around it's a one-time purchase only uh, what happens is then when you go back and exchange it they don't fill the gas the LPG gas up right there on the spot what you do is you exchange it for another tank I know back in the States the tank I had uh, I would just take down to a filling station they would fill it here you take the tank to a place and you exchange it for another tank and uh, they're not brand new I mean but the places won't fill it I guess they have people that come there with the tanks already filled and drop them off but uh, I haven't had a problem with anybody not filling them or you know exchanging it um, but that's how that works here. Like I said, they might they might sell them brand new, but I have yet to find one. Here's my older here's my older grill. It just beat out, it's wore out. Uh, I looked online. I can buy every part that I need to replace it with. Um, but see, here's they have these little propane tanks here, and uh, they're rusted. And I don't want to fill them. What I did was I would take the big tank and I had, I had a, uh, an adapter that I would use to fill these little tanks up with the adapter off of the big tank. I put these little propane, um, Coleman little propane tanks in the freezer overnight, fill them. Um, learned that online through YouTube. And uh, turn around, take the big tank, flip it upside down, put the adapter on, put the little tank on and fill them that way. Um, but they're all rusted out now and beat out, so I'm, I'm a little afraid to use them. Uh, the guy that built built the new grill said he could, you know, he could hook that little uh, this little grill up if I wanted to. Um, it was nice because you could take that little grill, you could take that little, you could take that little grill with you, and uh, we would take it to different places if we were, you know, going on a picnic or somewhere. Uh, we would take it along and cook at the park and stuff. And I think I'll probably down the road get that back up and running because that was nice to take along. Um, but anyways, uh, I'm going to stick some of this lava rocks in here, and uh, I'll show you. I'll show you what it looks like with the lava rocks in it. All right, so now I got the lava rocks in there. Um, one bag is plenty. Fills up the uh, you know fills up the grate and everything. See, the thing is with the charcoal here, like I said, I'm not a big fan of the charcoal flavor here with the charcoal here. I'm just, I don't like it. Uh, I don't mind the charcoal, you know, that you could buy back in the States and the bricks, but those charcoal chunks here, I just, I don't like the flavor of it. Other people do, you know, it's all in personal taste. 
Um, if I do want to buy regular charcoal, like from the states, excuse me, um, they do sell that also up at um, True Value and Marquee Mall. I've seen it. Uh, but anyways, there it is. And we bought some steaks uh, today. Bought a couple nice ribeye steaks up at uh, Barretto's up here in Angeli City. Uh, what was it? 560 pesos uh, for two nice size ribeye steaks. Uh, Brazilian? Brazilian. Brazilian ribeye steaks. Got them marinating in the refrigerator right now. And uh, the next thing you're going to see is me cooking on the new grill here. Cooking them delicious. Delicious, right? Delicious. Yeah. Delicious. delicious. Ribeye steaks. <laughs> All right, guys. So Lutz out in the kitchen. She has made, what is this, like a lumpia Shanghai? No, it's a, beef, a lumpia bihon. Lumpia, lumpia what? Bihon. It's noodles. Lumpia bihol. Bihol. Behold. Lumpia bihol. Bihon. <clears throat> bihon. Uh, it's got chicken in it. Little chunks of chicken meat. Uh, uh, Pancit noodles. Yes. Chopped up carrots, yes. chopped up green beans. Yes. What else, Lett? Uh, onion. And some onion in there. Garlic. And garlic in there. So she has made that up. Her special sauce. Yes. And uh, now she's doing cucumbers for something. Uh, this for salad. For salad. And we'll come out here. Hannah Grace is out here. She's playing, she's glad it's Friday, no school tomorrow. She can be on her tablet as much as she wants. Right, Pim? Yeah. And uh, let's go out here to the grill. Let us go out to the grill. <clears throat> there it is, guys. It's a little dark out here. I need to change that light bulb out. We got the uh, we got the steak on the grill, cooking. The thing with it is when you got a new grill, you got to find those fine tune. You got to fine tune it. Is the best way to describe it. You guys know what I'm talking about. You got to find that perfect uh, spot on the knob where everything works and uh, you get the proper heat. But there they are, guys. They are cooking away, and uh, we'll show you the finished product when we're done. All right, there it is. There is our dinner this evening. Uh, Coca-Cola. French fries, or what it says? French fries. French fries. <laughs> uh, what is that again? Lumpia bihon. Lumpia bihon. Bihon. With dipping sauce. A little bit of greens. Let's got her white wine. Anna Grace has her Coca Cola, and the star of the meal, Brazilian ribeye steak. So, there it is. There's our first grilling uh, meal off our new grill, and uh, we're gonna enjoy it. We're gonna dig in. Anything to say, Lot? No, <laughs> don't put your camera. It's so ugly. Anything to say, Anna Grace? No, you said something. Okay. Anyway. And uh, there it is, guys. And we are going to dig in. And we will talk to you guys later.